Alright, welcome everyone to Marvel Man's Game Room. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman Forever Nightmare Bat <clears throat> Build-A-Figure Two-Face and Riddler. So let's crack these boys open and take a look. I also decided to put out the McDonald's cups of the Riddler and Two-Face. So let's put those off to the side. So let's look at... Two face first. Harvey Dent. All right, so there's Harvey. All right, so got a bat piece, and we also have a card and. So here's the card. Look at the card in a second. But here's the Nightmare Bat build a piece, build a figure piece. Looks like the uh, right wing. It's gonna be a big boy when we open it. It comes with a black stand with the DC logo and a single peg. All right, let's look at the card. We got Two Face from Batman Forever. All right, mm -hmm. let's focus, let's focus, focus. There we go. Batman faces off against two foes. The schizophrenic, horribly scarred, former district attorney, Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, and the Riddler, a disgruntled ex-Wayne Enterprises inventor seeking revenge against his former employer. By unleashing his brain-sucking weapon on Gotham City's residents. As the Cape Crusader also deals with tortured memories of his parents' murder. He has a new romance with psychologist Chase Meridian. I wonder if they're going to actually put Chase Meridian because they like literally just like capitalized her name there. But anyway, that's the card. He also comes with two extra hands. So let's look at those without throwing them everywhere. So we got all right. So he unfortunately does not come with any guns like the figures do. So he's got one one fist gloved hand. For punching and then a trigger finger hand without a glove. Sorry about the sun. Alright, let's pop open Harvey. Now I will say the likeness is very good. Very good. I love the scar side, it looks really nice. He's got a rubber part here. He does have the McFarlane diaper, as I can feel, which is a little creepy, but he has a hand that is flipping a coin, his signature coin. This hand also has a trigger finger. So you put a gun in there if you want. He does have double jointed elbows on both sides. He's got a swivel at the bicep, up down at the shoulder. All the way around. Uh, you can move his head all the way around. It goes up and down like so. He has double jointed knees, it looks like. And he can't move his legs too much, even with the McFarlane diaper, because of his coat. That's okay, he's not the most mobile of Batman's villains. He does have the toe articulation and pivot at the ankles so that's Harvey so let's put him on a stand and we'll move on to Edward Nigma I don't know what that sound was that was a little scary all right there's Harvey so let's take a look at Edward Nigma Edward right 
there. He might fall. Okay, he's laying down then. <laughs> he might fall, he's probably going to fall. So, we'll lay him down. Interesting. Alright, so he also has the normal... stand with one peg and the DC logo on it. Wabam! One peg, DC logo, nice matte black. And here's Edward's card. So let's look at Edward's card and then we'll get to the bat because it's kind of in there. All right, so we have Edward Nigma. Batman faces off. Oh, dude, this is literally the exact same thing. Well, that's kind of boring. I hope all four of them don't have the same... Yeah, that's literally the same thing. Okay, I hope all four of them do not have the same thing. Because that is just lazy. When the figures are so good, it's like... Oh yeah, the nice little card you get is kind of... Nah. Alright, we got a Nightmare Bat here. He's got the rubber feet. Got this hole here for his stand. Got the peg holes for the wings and the peg hole for the head. So let's pop this into our nightmare bat here. Boom! Look at that. Ooh, that wingspan though. Alright, and as we look at these guys, we will be building the bat and then we'll do a full just look at the bat in another video. So let's put him off to the side. And let's see what Edward has with him. So he's obviously got his cane, but that's in his hands. This is probably my favorite little accessory he comes with. The Riddler Bat Bombs. Oh, I love these things. They are so funny. Doesn't have the face like I wanted it to, though. Kind of disappointing on that, but it looks really cool. Does have two alternate hands. So we have a closed fist hand, and let's put Edward down for a second, and a open palm hand, like ha oh, oh. put that off to the side, let's get Edward out of the package, Ooh. look at that beautifulness, Woo. man that looks gorgeous, love it. Absolutely love it. Everything about this figure is beautiful. I mean, the, the McFarland diaper he's got. He's got. Looks like he's got a crunch at the rib area. Definitely got a Jim Carrey face going there. Love it. Love the staff. Probably not going to take it out of this position. I really like it like that. So we got double jointed elbows, a swivel at the bicep. He's got the, I forgot what these were called. Sharnimus Prime actually said something about this. And I forgot what they were called. So, we've got the um, movement at the shoulders. He's got wrist movement. He can go up and back with his leg. And a little bit out. Not too far. But yet again, these are not the most mobile of Batman's villains. So, they don't really fight much. He's got double jointed knees. And he's got the swivel up and down. Eh, kind of ankle pivot, not too much. Does have the toe articulation on the shoe. So that is a gorgeous figure. Love how detailed they are on the faces for these figures because they look almost identical to the way they looked in the movies. Which makes them... Very nice. Alright, so let's get Harvey, Edward. Alright, and with that, we're going to call it a day. Thank you all that came watched. Much appreciated. Like, subscribe if you want to see more of these guys. I'll be continuing the set next time with Batman and Robin and building more of the Nightmare Bed. So look forward to that. I'll catch you all next time. Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.